in this pan, I've got an onion finely chopped, and that's just slowly sweating down with a bit of salt. Now, you put the salt in there, and what that does is that draws all the moisture out of the onion, so that evaporates off, and it leaves the natural sugars in the onion to what caramelise. What a very good tip that is. So slowly, slowly, oh, slowly. Oh, slowly, slowly. OK. So that's the onion sl sweated down for about 25 minutes. Oh, OK. Yeah. Do you know what? I actually do make chilli. Yeah? No, don't look, look like that, no, no, if no, you no. don't I, believe me. I, I do. do. <laughs> I do, I promise. <laughs> I, do. I, do I can do it. I just kind of bung everything in and hope for the, the best. That's the way So I'm looking do. for tips. Yeah, this is the tip. So I've put the garlic in now at the very last minute before I, the other ingredients, because a lot of people put the garlic in with the onions at the beginning. Right. And that, that cooks the flavour off. You've lost the flavour. Oh, OK. That's Spices. Good. Right. So cumin, coriander, mm. uh, sweet smoke, no, hot smoked paprika and yeah. hot chilli powder. Right, lovely. Because I like it hot. So do I. Good. So do I. It's going to be hot. Good, good, good. So just rub those spices through yeah. the onions and then I'm going to add some chopped chilli, fresh chopped chilli, just one or two if you like it really hot. Mm -hmm. But the good thing about this is that you can really vary the, the level of heat. Of course you can. Can't you? Because a lot of people don't like it. No, and if hot. the little ones sometimes don't like it so much. Yeah, exactly. And this actually is great for kids because of the nachos. It's quite exciting for they them. Like so that, yeah. perhaps don't put too much chilli in. Sure. Unless you don't like your children. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, you want to educate the taste buds? <laughs> yeah. That's it, that's what I'm going for, yeah. So I'm going to add some kidney beans to that, red kidney beans, a full can that's drained. Right. A bit of pepper, not too much pepper because of all those other spices in there anyway. Oh, OK, so you put that in now. See, I always yeah. put that in at the end. No, that's where I've been going season wrong. with every ingredient. Oh. So a bit of salt in there and then, of course, right. the beef. You don't have to brown the beef. A lot of recipes say brown the beef first, yes. but there's so many flavours in there that you don't really need to bother. It's just right. added faff. And we don't like faff in the Lorraine kitchen. We don't like faff in no. no. Faff is not good. <laughs> <laughs> so, just break up any big clumps of the meat. Try and get it coated in a bit of those uh, spicy juices. Mm. And then I'm going to add a can of chopped tomatoes, a full can. Yep. And then, for a bit more flavour, one full stock cube, beef stock cube. Oh. Can, yeah. Okay. Beef or chicken, but beef's best because it's got right. that flavour. Sure. In just 200 mils of water, so it's quite a concentrated stock. Oh, that's good. So it's really, really easy to get rid of these. Okay. And that's then it. I'm going to add... Uh, that's it? Well, that's it. I'm going to bring this to the boil. Yes. Now, people rush this part. They sort of bring it to the boil and think it's ready after 10 minutes. Mm. You need to let this cook for about an hour, simmer in and cover it with a lid. Right. So let it really just gently and slowly cook down, because that's when all those flavours come out. Of course, And yeah. actually, I'm going to swap these round. Actually, what is good is if you make this in advance, put it in the fridge, Yeah. the flavour's even better the next day. Really? What I used to do as a student, in yeah. perpetual studenthood, <laughs> is make a full batch of it, a big massive pan, yeah. freeze it in individual bags, bang them in the freezer, and then you've got it ready. So get it out that's the night before, really on a plate in the fridge, get home, bang it in a pan, all the microwave, you've got chilli, it's perfect. You would have been the ideal flatmate. Because well, you cook, I mean, you would make things and you'd bake things yeah. and you'd do all of that. I don't like to brag, but, you know, my you... flatmate Holly, she was very, very privileged. I bet she was. I bet <laughs> Although she's like... she was a great cleaner, so we, right. you know, hand in hand, hand in hand. None of them pot noodles for you. Oh, all the proper stuff. Never. All proper the proper stuff. stuff and all that kind of gear. So that's Brilliant. how it reduces down. You can see it's gorgeous and steamy. It's thickened slightly, which is exactly what you want. Right. So for the layering for the nachos, I'm going to take a little bit of a, just a little dish. You don't right. need to grease it or anything because okay. there's, there's no point. I'm going to take some lightly salted or even plain nacho chips. Don't go for the, any cheesy varieties with right. this because Ooh. I think it would sort of infiltrate the flavours. Yeah. So I'm going to put a layer of nachos in okay. there. And I'm going to take this chilli sauce. That looks so good. It really is. It's, <laughs> it, I mean, you can have it with spaghetti, you can have it on rice, but I just... I love this it is on, good, yeah. yeah. Or chocolate potatoes, but you mm. know what? For me, it's got to be chilli and nachos. And actually, if you make this at the weekend as well, it's a great thing for your mates if they come round, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, share a few drinks and have this. It's a real great weekend dish. It is. All... Watching footy or something, watching, watching the footy fussy. on the telly, yeah. which I was doing last night. But it's equally as good. I'm not going to go into that. No, it was fine. Was we do. Right? No, it was happy? fine. It was oh, actually OK. I mean, we should have won, but it's OK. You it's all okay. right. It's not all over yet. So you're not right. angry? No, 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 no. They did really well. But it's equally great. Scotland and Poland week. you're talking about. <laughs> so then we put cheese on Cheese on top. Lovely, lovely. Some more. I'm layering it up. Oh, it's like lasagna. Lasagna, yeah. Layer it with some more nachos and then I'm going to put quite a few because the nachos go a bit like the lasagna sheets they go quite soft and soggy okay but the outside ones because I'm going to bake this in the oven all right I can't actually put it in the oven because I broke it this morning I ripped the handle off so sorry you about that you ruined my kitchen I'm sorry I'll buy you a new one <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've got insurance honestly so pop some more chili on <laughs> but the outside bits when you do bake it the outside bits of the crisp they go really crispy Yummy. really gorgeous and the more cheese you put on 
let's face it, the better it gets. Absolutely. So layer that with some more chilli. Gorgeous. And what I'm going to do to the end of it, when, when, when it comes out of the oven, only 15 minutes in the oven, yeah, yeah, yeah. but when it comes out, I'm going to scatter on some fresh coriander, yep. serve it with some um, spring onions, some lime juice, a mm. bit of sour cream just to take that heat away. Lovely. So a bit more cheese, and I'm going to bake that about 200 degrees, 180 fan. Excellent. For 15 minutes.